All right, let's talk about stop burying yourself alive. Heather, what are you talking about? Great question. Um, when I typically see, and I, I thought of this analogy the other day when I was recording an Ask Coach Heather episode, is when somebody has gained some weight or they're frantically trying to lose the last 10, 20 pounds, whatever, they are feeling this desperation. I get these emails in often where somebody's like, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've switched up this, I've done that. And, there, and there's like this sense of desperation and frustration. And I equate that to you're in a pit, okay? So you're in this deep pit and the walls are made of soft sand. And when you feel that sense of desperation, I really want to get this last five pounds off, or uh, I've been, you know, gaining weight, you know, and now I feel the sense of desperation to get it off. It's like you're grabbing onto that loose sand on the sides of the walls and you're trying to claw your way out. But really what you're doing is you're burying yourself alive because every time you grab onto the walls to pull yourself up, you're ripping sand off and it's accumulating around your feet, your legs and your torso. And then before you know it, you've attempted to cl you know, climb your way up so many times that now you're buried, right? And that is what you want to think about that visual when you get into panic, desperation, or uh, you are kind of just ping-ponging it back and forth through different things. And this is why I often tell people, pause and maintain. Stillness in that situation is gonna be so much more helpful than you panicking and grabbing onto the walls and bringing and collapsing them in on top of you, okay? And what we wanna do is if you have gained some weight, so let's just say you had been 145 and now you're 155, right? You've gained 10 pounds. Better to pause, sit still, learn to maintain 155 because whatever you were doing that caused that 10 pound gain, if you're repeating it, it's gonna become a 20 pound gain. And I see this so often and if I could just if I could just, I would love to stop people from being in this predicament. I get the email, they're up 10 or 15 pounds. I tell them stop, I tell them maintain. Six months later, I'm now up 30 pounds. Please stop, please maintain. They write me back, I've gained all the way back. It's like, I really would love to stop that cycle for each and every one of you. I can't, I can't come in and micromanage your life. But what I can do is turn out videos like this and tell you stop burying yourself alive. If you're up a few pounds, I know it sucks. I know it's not where you want to be. I'm not telling you to maintain for the rest of your life there. But what I am telling you to do is stop pulling the walls of your, of your pit in on top of you. Let go of panic. Let go of frustration. Become still and patient. Sit down and learn how to maintain that weight. Do it intentionally. That does not mean continue to set your calories at a deficit range. That means set them at a maintenance range. That means that you're letting go of the expectation you're gonna see weight loss for a little bit. It means you're gonna sit and learn to maintain. Same thing if you have five, 10 pounds left to lose. You've been on this journey. You're, you're panicking because you wanna get it done. You wanna get the last five off. I get it, I'm hearing you. But I'm also saying that if you're slowly creeping up or if you're not really making any progress, one would make the point whatever you're doing is not working, so stop pulling the walls in on top of you. Pause, maintain. Then after about six weeks or so of maintaining intentionally, not hoping for weight loss, not setting at a deficit calorie, then you go ahead and you try again. But you do it with a much smaller deficit spaced out potentially, and you focus on doing this in a very systematic way. You don't wanna throw spaghetti at the wall and hope it sticks. You wanna go ahead and be very systematic with whatever you do. So I hope this analogy makes sense. I hope you hear my passion about this because these emails are heartbreaking because I guarantee you, the person who writes me back the second or third time wishes they could go back to the them that wrote me the first time and actually be like, yes, maintain, because then they won't be the extra weight up or back at where they started. They would just be a few pounds heavier, and then they could eventually work themselves back down when they're in a better place, whether it's due to binge eating, whether it's due to just frantically trying different things and not being able to stay focused, whether it's the fact that they're just mentally exhausted from the process and they need to take a mental break. 
all of those are viable reasons. So I hope this makes sense. You guys have a great day.